So let's talk a little bit about Linux support. And when I'm talking about Linux support, I'm talking about you need technical support for your operating system, for the Linux distribution that you have installed, and you expect, you know, to, to be able to call upon people for help along the way when you need it. You have to understand, if you are new to Linux, if you're new to how free and open source software works, is these things are typically community driven. There's not a lot of corporate backed free and open source software out there. There's a little bit out there, but they're definitely the exception. They are not the rule. When it comes to Linux distributions, if you want enterprise level support, then you have to have a corporate backed Linux distribution. So the ones that offer support for business and enterprise customers, of course, would be Ubuntu, Red Hat, SUSE. Those three in particular, they have you know, enterprise level support. Many of the other distributions out there, even some of the really popular ones, you know, things like Debian and Arch and things like that, they are mainly community projects. And as community projects, you're not going to get any kind of support as far as I'm going to buy a support contract for me or for my small business or anything like that. You know, that kind of stuff a lot of times doesn't exist, especially on the really small distributions that have very small development teams. Sometimes the teams are as big as one person. You know, that person can't sell support contracts, you know, because they're only one person and of course they're going to have a real life outside of developing the distribution th themselves and of course this leads to the fact that most of these community-based distributions because they're created by the community who actually supports the distribution also the community right the community contributed code and artwork it was a collaborative effort among a lot of people that were freely in most cases donating their time to create this linux distribution also the support for these distributions is going to be very similar in the fact that their support that they're going to offer is also going to be freely donated in their spare time they'll help anybody that comes to their forums or irc chat or whatever um, you know, their GitHub, GitLab, whatever it happens to be, you'll find people that are there willing to help you out to support you. But again, it's a, it's done in their spare time, right? And you know, this is a little different than the corporate world. For those of you that are, you know, used to the way Microsoft Windows, for example, does things, where you can buy support contracts for for Microsoft products, for you know, a lot of their enterprise stuff, cloud stuff, Microsoft Office, and things like that. That really doesn't exist in Linux for the most part and it's kind of a different kind of mindset that you you've got to get into when you switch over to Linux and free and open source software and the reason you have to change your mindset is when you switch to an operating system like Linux which is free and open source right for the most part you are expected to be your own support channel right I mean people will gladly help you out but for the most part you need to be a do-it-yourselfer you need to be the kind of person that can kind of solve your own problems and that you're okay uh, eventually working out the problems yourself or if you receive help from others you're grateful for it but at the same time you're not necessarily going to be dependent on others right if you're the kind of person that has always been dependent on others to solve your problems for you your linux isn't great for you free and open source software for the most part probably isn't great for you as well you often hear this saying that there's nothing free in life or there's nothing free in this world. And that is entirely true. So those of you that are wanting corporate level support, that kind of support where you can immediately call somebody on the phone or send an email or open an online support ticket on, on some kind of a professional website or whatever and get immediate response from some kind of support team. Well, typically those proprietary operating systems that offer that, whether it be something like Windows or Mac or some of the proprietary Unix operating systems, you know, some of these operating systems you had to pay money, $400, $200, sometimes thousands of dollars for some of the really niche specialized operating systems out there. And of course, they offer these support contracts for you. You know, it's kind of built into the price and some of these operating systems. So you paid for that support. You didn't pay for anything with Linux, right? It was all freely given to you. So, you know, don't don't be upset 
if you switch from a proprietary operating system like Windows or Mac and come over to Linux and you're shocked about the level of support that's there is the community driven support, right? It's, it's there when people have time to help you, when people don't have time to help you, you kind of, again, you have to be your own support channel. And I just, I want people to understand that because I do see people that get frustrated online. Uh, sometimes they get frustrated with the community. Sometimes they get frustrated with developers of certain pieces of free and open source software. And I think that frustration, I can understand the frustration, but don't vent that to people that really don't deserve that kind of backlash. Again, there's nothing free in this world. One thing, if you're one of these people that have to have support, like instant support, when I need it, I can call somebody and they're there, then you have to understand for that level of support, you do have to pay for it, right? That's not free. It may be free as in freedom as far as free and open source software. Somebody gave you a piece of open source software, but free as in beer, free as in monetization. No, you're going to have to pay somebody to be on call 24 seven for support. And if that's what you need, then that's great. But if, if that's what you need, then you need to be willing to support some of these developers. You need to be able to actually pay money to the maintainer of your Linux distribution so that they can be a support channel for you or hire extra people to help be a support channel for you and maybe others that also want this. The same thing with standalone programs, free and open source software. If you want that extra level of support, make sure you're actually giving these people money because if you're not giving anything at all, how can you expect anything in return? Just some food for thought. Peace, guys.